Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. And guess what? This morning I'm actually in my front seat. I tell you, God has been so gracious to your sister. Um, right now in my life, overtime is needed. And right now in my life, God has blessed where it is there and he's given me the strength to get up and go. And so, um, although I got in from work last night about, uh, well, no, after work, I went to church. Old boy was all up on me. I posted that on the, on the bus. Right. But then, um, I went to church and I was prepared to take the bus from like downtown, you know, to Montclair, to my car, but the Johnsons, brother and sister Johnson, uh, they were kind enough to drive me from, uh, church to Montclair, uh, which saved me a lot of time. And I'm so grateful to the Lord God for, uh, brother and sister Johnson. And, um, so I guess by midnight, midnight 30, I was, I'm looking for the bus is what I'm doing. Um, I was in bed and I awakened this morning by the grace of God at 4 a.m., and I'm working today, uh, 7 to 2.30. And I was like, I'm tired. I need to sleep, so I'm going to take the bus. And I, I did my best to get here for the 5 a.m. bus, but that didn't happen. Well, I got here at like 5.05. So there's a bus at 5.30. So I'm sitting here, right? I'm like, whoa, let me take this opportunity because I'm actually in my front seat. My uh, Adidas, y'all remember that? Okay. So uh, I'm here, and so when I open to the Bible app, and I'm not going to do um, Proverbs chapter 9, but it had the verse for the day, Romans 8, chapter 8, verse 39, that nothing can separate us, no height, no depth. Nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in who? Which is in Christ Jesus. So uh, when we when the scripture says nothing can separate us, absolutely nothing, no created being, no, no thing, no, no animal, no, no, nothing that has been created, no circumstance, no situation, nothing can separate us from the love of God. Now, when you think about the love of God, we're talking about the love that God has for us. And it's already evident because God, he has already proven. Oh, okay. He has proven himself to us by giving us the Dallas Cowboys America's team. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? Okay. God has already proven himself to us by his son, Jesus Christ. And where he sent his son to do what? To die for us. It's a little cold. So I thought I'd wear my. Okay. So nothing, absolutely nothing can separate us. And God has shown his love for us. God has shown himself worth, worthy of our respect and not that God owes us anything. God don't owe us. We owe God. And so the scripture says that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, no created anything can separate us. And we want to doubt God. We want to question God. We want to wonder about God. Beloved, everything we have, it is because of God and because of his love. And he has shown and proven that love for us by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. Why? Because God wanted to do what? Redeem man back to him. He loved us. He wasn't satisfied with us just being lost willy nilly. You ever had someone love you? Now, I know what it is when you've loved someone else because I've loved. Lord, heaven knows I've loved and I'm sure you've loved. But when you have been loved by someone, oh, now you're talking. Because your love for me, it it, it does what? It, 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 it shows your depth, how you love me. But my love for you can make all the difference. Because you may know you love me and I may say I love you, I love you, I love you. But if I'm not showing you that I love you. Then you're going to be like, get away from me with all that yang, yang, yakety yak. Don't talk back. You just talking. But my what? My actions and my words have got to line up. And the love of God, his words, they lined up. 
with his actions and his sending his son, Jesus Christ, to do what? To die for us. On this day, beloved, no matter what, nothing can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. And I know somebody is saying, well, I don't believe in Christ Jesus. And I'm a, I'm understanding, I understand that there are millions of folk, billions probably, that do not walk the ways of Christianity. I got that, but I do. So therefore, I share what it is that I do. And when you sit in your front seat, you can share what it is that you do. So, I mean, I got it. I know everybody is not a Christian. I understand. A man at church last night said, and we know that everybody ain't going to be saved. I mean, the Bible says that what? The eyes of man, I paraphrase, paraphrase, are never, what, satisfied? And the gates of hell are constantly, what, being enlarged. All right. So, but I'm going to get out. It's already two people standing in line, although I was here first. But I guess they said, Psh, you sitting in the car, you don't count. So, beloved, I just wanted to take the opportunity since I'm sitting in my front seat and I was in L.A. So I bought a pastrami and I, I ate the meat last night out of one half. So I got the other half in my lunch bag for lunch today. And then I ordered some zucchini because it's just something about pastrami and zucchinis in L.A. in the city of Wazots seem to taste so much better than those out here in the Inland Empire. But I'm finding the spots. I'm finding the spots. So I have some zucchini for my breakfast because it ain't like a sister can go to Jack in a Box because I ain't driving. This your girl Sharon. I'm going to get out of this car and I'm going to make myself over there and get in line. I'm out, y'all. Be blessed. Have a great Saturday. Oh, Lord, the lights in the car done going out on me. Okay, maybe if I open up the door, y'all can see me some. Let's see if I move my hand. Okay, this your girl Sharon, beloved. I'm out. Deuces.